Welcome friends, you are listening to Sri Bhakta Pochana. Today's topic is, are you a good online neighbor? We need to be an example in our day-to-day -day life. Whatever we do, we need to show a good character because character is important in these days than the achievements and also our uh, academics. So what I wanted to say, the bhakta and the social media, the disciples of Lord Jesus Christ are called to be an example to the world because the Bible says, you are the salt of the earth and you are the light of the world. In that context, how do we define social media? Let's define society. People in general living together in organized communities with the shared laws, traditions and values. If we try to understand and define society and the social, relating to or involving activities in which people spend time talking to each other or doing things together is called as society. In society, people do things together and uh, they try to understand the problems to the society together and also they live together and uh, how do we define social media creating social interaction through electronic means primarily using the internet internet a system of uh, interconnected networks which electronically transmit information internet is good and we need to use it we communicate the files and we communicate the information. Much good can be accomplished through the internet and social media. Because God has given this wisdom and the tools, much good can be done, much good can be come out of it, provided the disciples of Lord Jesus Christ to use them for the glory of the Lord. Instant communication anywhere in the world is possible. Time and cost savings, rallying behind noble causes, we can do much more. But just a click away, the sins of the flesh, false doctrines and the religions, a human wisdom, a time bandit, unrighteous judging. A, the sin is just a click away. The sin is at the doorstep of social media to enslave humans because today people are addicted to so many dark ways of the life and people are not in control. And in that, in this context, how are we going to use the social media for the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ? This can be good or evil. It is neutral. We cannot uh, judge that this is evil. At the same time, we cannot say that this is 100% good. Social media is a morally neutral. Morally, it is a neutral and we need to use it for, a, for the good cause. It is how we use it that determines whether it is good or evil. We can use it for good or we can use it for the bad. Whether we like it or not, social media is here to stay. Just there are biblical standards of uh, conduct within a community, so there are standards online. They often intersect. There are standards. We need to align how far to go, where to go, when to go. And we, if we don't have that thick line of managing social media, our hearts and minds will be corrupted and we will never come out of the clutches of the evil one. Today, the Lord asks us that we should have a thick line and we should know how to use social media. Much good can be done for the cause of Christ. And churches share the gospel. Churches have a web presence. Many attend as a result of the websites, portable Bibles and related resources. Brethren can communicate with one another. We can have fellowship online fellowship, prospects and the rewards of friendship. There are many more things to be done and we need to use it. 
much evil can be done to the cause of Christ at the same time. You know, today, much evil is happening through the social media than the good. Even the disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ are addicted to the social media and uh, they are not able to grow in the Lord. A lot of divisions are happening because of this social media, spreading lies and rumors, bitterness and uh, filthy talk, profanity and, and etc. Much evil has been happening through the social media. A lot of families are cracking because of the miscommunication through the social media. Because no social media, it is better always to sit together and talk. Because as we sit face to face, we clarify the doubts and we understand the person's emotions and the background and the situations. But uh, sitting far away, communicating the social media, we get a lot of confusion, we get a lot of misunderstandings. I have been counseling a lot of families, they are cracking. A lot of families are uh, going for divorce because just because of this social media and the filthy talk poor examples and a lot of things are happening <clears throat> it is a way to let your light shine social media should be one of the ways to shine in the darkness because today social media is full of darkness where there is need of light and Jesus said, you are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. And we need to be a light in social media. Matthew chapter 5 verse 16 says, you represent Christ while online as well. Even in online, we represent Christ. We should not forget about it. Don't get caught up in ungodly behavior. Thessalonians, 1st Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 22 says, reject every kind of evil. We need to be cautious of the evil and we need to reject it. We should not get near to it. You know, sometimes we have a tendency, let's touch and see. Let's play with it. Don't play with the evil. Don't touch the evil. Don't go near to the evil. Because it is evil. It will catch you. The Bible says, reject every evil, whatever the form it may be. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 11 says, having nothing to do with the fruitless deeds of darkness, but rather expose them. We should not have anything to do with the evil deeds and the evil activities, rather expose them. The Bible says, do not sit at the mockers or stand at the such kind of people. Beware of this. Proverbs 22 verse 1 says, A good man is more desirable than great riches. To be esteemed is better than silver or gold. You know, we, our life on earth is just mist on earth. The mist appears today and disappears tomorrow. What all we need? We need a good name. God expects that we should have such a good name. A good name is more desirable than great riches. And today the world, in the world, people want to have great riches. They want to acquire more and more and more. But we need to have a desire to have a good name. Romans 12 verse 7 says, Do not repay anyone evil for evil. Be careful to do what is right in the eyes of everyone. In the online, when millions of people watch in the eyes of everyone, we should be right. Be careful to do what is right in the eyes of everyone. Millions and millions of people are watching. They are on online. Their eyes are online. And uh, how do we behave in that online? Only God knows what you are, you are watching and what you are behaving. And today, Jesus is compassionate. And this Lord asks you to come closer to Him. And today check your life if your consciousness says that there is something wrong come to the Lord you can damage your reputation and that of others in just a few moments what you post is out there forever what you post will remain forever we need to read twice or thrice we need to double check before we click because a lot of confusion happens once you click thousands of people watch be careful what you share. Are you modest? Of course, we should be modern, but we should be modest in our way of dress, 
in our way of behavior, talking and language and everything should glorify God because we are called to glorify the Lord Jesus Christ even on online. Are you promoting sinful habits and activities because of our posts, because of our activities, people get tempted. And uh, we should not get into such places on online and we should not encourage others to get in such posts places are you going places you don't belong you know we need to be in places where we belong and we should be in the presence of the Lord we should be with the believers of the Lord Jesus Christ we should not get into such carnality carnal places where the devil possesses us and uh, uh, we are with sinful nature and we should be careful what we watch how much time we watch where we go and online and why we go Choose your friends wisely. Even choosing friends online, we should be wise enough. We should not accept anybody that likes. And sometimes people deceive us by having a false names and false IDs. We should accept people whom we know. Maybe we should accept uh, who are the friends of our friends. We should have a double check. The first Corinthians chapter 15 verse 33 says, Do not be misled. Bad company corrupts good character. And today, we don't have time to have friendship, face-to-face -face friendship.